Rest in His Love by Sheila Cobb When you know your love perfectly, without doubt or reservation, you have no fear. Isn't it wonderful when you know someone loves you perfectly and without reservation? You know you can go to them anytime because you know you are accepted. You can be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be someone else. The Bible states, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. 1 John 4, verse 18 With Jesus, we can find that perfect love to cast it out fear. We don't have to worry about what He thinks about us. We can be completely ourselves with the Lord because He loves us so much and accepts us for who we are. He loves us so much that He laid down His life at the cross, bled and died for our sins, so that we can be set free and be forgiven for anything we have done in the past and in the present. All we have to do is come boldly to Him and talk to Him and tell Him what we've done wrong and ask for His grace and forgiveness. It's that easy. Confess, repent, and find forgiveness. We are perfectly accepted and undeniably loved. As Apostle Paul stated in his epistle, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Ephesians 1 verses 5 through 6. Sometimes, though, we think there is so much more to God's love. Sometimes we think we have to earn it to find His forgiveness and His favor. But we have to believe it. There is nothing more we need to do but to simply talk to Him and confess to Him everything and anything we have done and are going through. He's done everything already for us, suffered for our sake, died for our sake, and endured the cross for our sake so that all we have to do is to come to Him and talk to Him with a repentant heart and ask for His grace and forgiveness. We don't have to do any penance or any good works to have God love us back. He loves us already from the start. Even while we were still sinning, He loved us. That is why He came here in the first place, because we were sinners and needed to be saved. He loves us so much that He was willing to be that sacrifice, the Lamb that God was looking for, to save the world from our sins. Jesus Christ gave Himself and died and became the sacrifice that God was pleased with. Now, there's nothing more we need to do but to return His love and affections. We return that love by talking to Him. We just need to trust in that love, have faith in that love, and find our rest and security in that love. All we need to do is talk to Him and make Him our friend and love Him in return. Ask Him to be our Lord and our Savior. Come into our hearts and into our lives and be our God. Tell Him that He is welcome in our lives to be our God and friend. That's all, really. He needs to know that this is what we want for Him to do for us, and He will do the rest. You don't need to worry about how He's going to come and be your God and friend. Just wait and see. He will do it for you if you let Him know that's what you want. Isn't it amazing to know that Christ loves us so much and accepts us so perfectly that there's really nothing else we need to do but just talk to Him? and let Him know what we need. Just by simply believing and having faith in His love for us, we will become heirs to the kingdom of God. Day after day and night after night, if we learn to talk and communicate with the Lord about anything and everything in our hearts, we will find His rest. He will help us to be His child. 
He will fill us with His Holy Spirit so that we will know His voice. He will guide us and lead us to His truth. He will show us step by step through our hearts and our spirit what to do and where to go. Whatever we're going through, He will work it all out for us. There is no fear in His love. We can truly find His rest and acceptance. We just need to talk to Him. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. John 3, verse 17 But God commended His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, verse 8 Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which He shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Titus 3, verse 5 through 7. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Prayer Lord Jesus, I thank you so much that you are such a wonderful and gracious God. Who can fathom your love, Lord? How can we even begin to measure your love for us? All we have to do for our part is to talk to you and accept you in our lives, and you will do the rest for us. You will help us to be holy, to be righteous, and to be obedient to your word. You will help us and not leave us on our own. We are never alone in this walk with you. If we just connect with you all the time by talking to you, you will help us to be your son or your daughter by the power of your love for us. Your love will bring about the change that's needed in our hearts to bring all the goodness you desire for us. Help us then, Father, to rest in your love today, to trust and believe in you. I pray in your most wonderful and precious name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen.